with Circle Hook 9. Gonna give you a little boat update. Well, first off, you can see we don't have our old John boat. We sold it and bought this. It's a 2001 Nitro NX 750DC. Um, so far, we like it a lot. We had to get a new propeller on the back, which is a 90 Tracker Marine Mercury. With the new propeller, it's a Solus Amita 3, so, uh, 19 pitch. Had to think about that there for a second. We got a 43 pound motor guide trolling motor up in the front. Um, we got a Humming Rear Helix 5 down imaging, side imaging, and GPS combo. It's a little bit dirty right now. We just took it out two days ago. I'm going to go ahead and hop up in the boat and show you all a little bit up in the As you can see, it's pretty roomy up here as we get up in the boat. It's more than enough for two people, and we can fit three fairly comfortably because we can fit two people up on the deck, no problem. Well, I mean, I guess we'll just start up in the deck. If you open up this first compartment right here, we got our paddle pedestals for the seats, our crankbait and jerkbait box, just like, yeah, um, fire extinguisher, paddle, anchor, our nav lights up here, so I mean, you get all that good stuff, it's pretty roomy, it goes pretty far up in there, I think up to the uh, foot pedal. Um, on our left side is our rod locker. Actually, there's two seven foot rod lockers. I think it's seven feet two inches, but we only use seven feet because the carpet stops. But got two rods in there right now. Over on the right side is more of a storage locker. We've got our bibs, life jackets, stuff like that up in the right one. Um, as we move back, we've got three seats, cooler under this one, there's some stuff in it from our last outing, <laughs> and then in this one, just storage, I believe it's dry storage, but I haven't really tested it out. We got our little phone box here, it's got a fluke and some Go GoPro stuff. It is fairly roomy up here in the helm. We got all our master power switches, binnacle fairly close. Um, we got our Helix 5, go ahead and turn that on. All the gauges light up on it and you can turn them off and all that good stuff. So beat the Helix 5 up here for a sec. So we got our down imaging, down imaging, side imaging, 2D, and GPS. So we've got all we need for this little boat. We can run about 50 miles an hour in it. So that's more than fast enough, even for a tournament boat, we think. Um, I mean, it's it's pretty roomy. You don't spend most of your time running, or at least we don't. Uh, in the console here, it's kind of messy. We got our scale, some sunscreen, pliers, all that stuff. Uh, um, as we move back a little bit more, we got our 23-gallon live well. It's really set up good for... We can get a divider in there for bait and game fish but we only put game fish in there it's more than enough because we can recirculate it all the time from the helm we don't have to worry about it if you come here in the back left hatch is kind of our tackle storage it's a little bit uh, unorganized right now but uh, we got all our stuff we got our worms terminal tackle 
flukes and grubs it looks like frogs topwater hard baits all that stuff as we come over here we just got a little miscellaneous box over here we got a wrench some grippers for carbon leader and a spare box if we ever need it and some crappie plastic back there and as we get all the way to the transom of the boat we've got our I guess our engine compartment it's fairly roomy we've got an onboard charger over here two batteries an 18 gallon fuel tank poly Ethylene, I believe, is what it's made out of. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice. We got our stern light and if you look, we've got our 90 horsepower Tracker Marine, uh, actually Mercury Marine Tracker en Series engine on the back here and like I said that can get us going about 50 miles an hour a little less but I don't really need to go that fast it's really good on gas too yeah I mean it's more than what we really had ever hoped for as in a bass boat we can get our both both of us from place to place real quick and we can just hit the fish, come home, and it's nice and easy. It's definitely a step up from the John boat you guys last saw. Well, stay tuned for cir for some more Circle Hook 9 fishing videos. We're definitely going to have a lot. We might even have a boat tier soon of our saltwater boat, which is a 25-foot El Pescador. And hopefully we'll get some fishing videos out we're planning on going here probably in the next day or so we'll do our best to get some footage of that until next time guys circle nine out